The game wardens are on their way to meet with a landowner who reported a man trapping animals on public property. The guy was putting snares out right in the middle of the county road, which it is illegal to take any game from a county road. And uh, the guy told him, hey, I'm trapping coyotes. Coyotes are predators that threaten livestock and deer herds. They're considered nuisance animals in Texas and can be hunted year round. The gentleman who was putting out these snares said, oh, I'm going to sell them alive. Snaring in the state of Texas is legal, and it is a really good way to uh, control our coyote population. But uh, if it's going to be used for the sale of these coyotes, that's when I get involved, and that's when I want to put a stop to it. The game wardens have been investigating the sale of coyotes across state lines, and this case may be linked. They're selling them to some buyer out of Oklahoma to train greyhounds. Oklahoma's tradition of using greyhounds to hunt coyotes for sport dates back to the early 1900s. But in Texas, it's illegal to transport or sell live coyotes because of the risk of transmitting rabies. If you uh, do a criminal act here in the state of Texas and you go right across the river to another state, that's a violation which carries a lot of weight, a lot of jail time, a lot of fine money. How are you, Randolph McGee? Barry Bruner. Hey, good to meet you. Glad to meet you. So, uh, the guy putting out snares, you run into him yesterday. Yeah, he came by here a while ago. I was too far away to see his ah, way. Which way? A little bit ago. Like how long ago? Um, probably 30 minutes, 40 minutes ago. But he did say something about that tall grass. It's got something to do with the way the snare operates. If he catches one, that coyote will be laying over there in that tall grass, and when you come uh, driving by, you won't see it. The snares are set on the grassy section of the public road. Since they're empty, the trapper either collected his coyotes or hasn't caught any yet. What they do, they just go right through here, and once they go, it, when they keep, the more you, the harder you pull, the tighter it gets. It's illegal to put these out on the county road. And I want to talk to the guy and find out exactly what he's doing, see where he's transporting these animals to. We're going to put a stop to it. Hey, we can talk to this guy. Yeah. A guy lives down this road. Said there was an old man in a blue pickup putting out snares for coyotes. Would you know anything about any of that? I don't know anybody that has a blue pickup. All right. Hey, if you I were to... I have one up there in my driveway, but it doesn't run. Yeah. <laughs> hey, here's my card. This is a really small town, and everybody already knows probably we're here, so it shouldn't take too long to track this guy down to see where he's at. He's uh, catching these coyotes alive, and he's selling them. People buy, sell, ain't trade anything. Yeah, I don't know of anyone here with a blue pickup on this road, person. All right, you be good. There's the mailman. If you see a guy putting out snares, call me. I'll sure do that. All right. Well, everybody's on the lookout for a small blue pickup right now. How many shots does it fire? One. In Van Zandt County, a rehabber attempts to sedate a doe that's going to be released into the wild. Yeah. Come on over here and lay down. We give it about 30 minutes, make sure it's sedated. That way we can go get it and tie it up and we don't have to worry about it, you know, waking back up. She's laying down over there. A lot of rehabbers will sign up through the state, but they always realize really quick it's a lot of money, a lot of time, and it's a lot of work. Y'all ready? One, two, three. Bob actually loves what he does and knows how to do it right. He releases them back into the wild with as little human contact as possible so they're not pets running up in everybody's yard causing problems. They drive three miles to an area that's closed to hunting. Might walk backward. They're trying to let a deer get up by itself, rubbing on her and kind of nudging her, trying to see if she'd wake back up. The rubbing stimulates the doe's circulation as the tranquilizer wears off. The deer was standing up, looking good, and ready to go out in the wild. It's our job as game wardens to protect animals. And if somebody like Bob takes care of these things and gets them released back into the wild, it's great. 
Back in rural Fanning County, game warden Hirschman just got a lead on his coyote trapper. A guy lives down this road. He said there was an old man putting out snares for coyotes. We are in Honey Grove in Fannin County, about nine miles from where the actual uh, snares are set out. The complainant finally called, got a license plate. Supposedly, the truck he drives has got a cage in the back, and then there's a white truck, I think, that he checks them into. Using the license plate, Hirschman got the trapper's name and address. You never know when you show up. He could have three buddies there. They could be drunked up. Uh, could be all kinds of things going on. But a uh, second set of eyes always does a lot, makes the investigation go a lot smoother. Hey, how are you? I'm, I'm Steve, the game warden. We were looking for Jimmy. Is he in? No, he went to Bono. Duh. OK. OK. Well, I needed to visit with him. Will he be back tonight? Oh, yeah, he'll be back this afternoon. Okay. All right, hey, thank you, Nell. All right, have him call me. All right. Well, at least close. It. Yeah, I missed it, though. As they're pulling away from the house, they recognize the man driving toward them. Hey, we were just coming to talk to you. Here, back up. We'll have to get off the road yeah. here and we'll visit. I'm Steve, one of the game wardens here. This is Trent Hirschman. Hey, Trent Hirschman. Yeah. Uh, good to meet you, Mr. Yeah. Peoples. Um, yeah, we need to visit with you about the snares. I ain't got any out now. No? Um, you don't have any, any out? Down by Bug Tussle. No, I yeah. ain't been out there. Here's the thing, though. We found your snares on the road. You seen them? Yep. Yes. Oh, I didn't have them out for three or four days. Yeah. None of them didn't catch how many traps you got out right now? I ain't got any. No. I took them all up. So they all been pulled. Hell, they was off the right of way. But they were in the right of way. Yeah. Here's the fence, here's the road, and here's the snare. Where are your traps at right now? You got them in your truck or you got them in your shop? Oh, in the back. Let's, let's look and see what you. Here. Yeah, here's your little truck. You're live catching them? Yeah. Hey, you don't got any live coats with you, right? No, so, I never did catch one. OK. Tell me this. This is, what, this is what I need to know. This me and you talking. What, what are you doing with live coyotes? I'm selling them. Where at? On different places. Right. People that's got the pens. For? Just like running your hounds outside. And you talking about uh, fox hounds? Yeah. Yeah. How many have you taken to Oklahoma? I sold? ain't took any. I sold a few in Texas. What were you getting for them? $50. 50 50 ahead. You realize you cannot possess a live coyote in the state of Texas? No, I didn't know Rabies quarantine. Yeah, so they're quarantined. Tell me this, because uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble because you're an outdoor boy. There ain't no doubt in my mind. I'm not believing that you set that many snares out and you didn't catch a coyote. I didn't. I can't believe you're it too myself. You're too good. You're too good. I quit. I didn't have but six or seven snares out. We're going to press him to make sure that he doesn't have any more snares out, because the last thing we want are these snares just being left out there. Do you right. think that you got them all out? If you want to go out there and look for it, I'll show you exactly like where. So we have the uh, suspect and Steve in uh, the vehicle in front of us. And what we're going to go do now is verify that uh, he has picked these snares up. He said he has. Let's look right here real quick. So, yeah. These are the only two you yep. all ever seen. Yeah, right there, yep. One of them was right there, yep. and the other's down there a little bit. Oh, there's that. Yep. Right. That's all I need to see. Yeah. 